What is going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Shadow Story. In today's video, we're going to be playing some more Warframe Mobile. And I just want to go ahead and just give out some tips on new players that are, you know, lost in the game. You just got into the game, got thrown into the game. You don't know what the hell you're doing. And so, you know, I'm just here to help out because I was once in your shoes. Or once upon a time, if you don't believe it or not. So, look, I got you, man. I know when you finish the tutorial of the game, you get, just, you get hit. You just get, you get thrown out there and, like, boom. But I'm here to explain it to you and just tell you that this game is completely free to play. And it's not a lie, okay? Completely free to play. When you first start the game, they're going to give you three characters. That is Mag, Excalibur, and Volt. You get to choose out of those three. I'm not going to lie, all three of them are good frames. So you just choose, read the powers, and see which Warframe fits your playstyle. So once you finish the tutorial, you're going to go back to your ship. And then you're going to be, probably going to be right here, somewhere in here. You know what I'm saying? And now you're going to be like, now what? So look, every character in this game can be completely played free to play. You can get them free to play. You can obtain them free to play. We are going to go into the star chart. So this is where every, this is where the magic starts to happen, okay? When you first start the game, you're obviously going to start off with Earth. Earth is going to be your little, you know what I'm saying? Our little blue planet where we start off. Well, that's its home, okay? It's home. You see those white lines looking like spider nets going around the whole planet those are what you're going to be following and when your mission is blue that means you have not done that mission yet or that node you have not done it yet so what you want to do is just go ahead and follow those nodes these white lines and go to each node and do the mission some of the missions are tedious but hey if you're starting the game nothing's going to be tedious it's going to be really fun to play the goal of this star chart is to go to different planets and explore each planet has a boss that drops a certain warframe the first node is going to be really easy you just go ahead and do that and continue following this white trail until you get to the mars junction junctions are basically like walls that you have to defeat or break down in order to go to the next planet and each junction has a rewards pool as you can see on the bottom those are the rewards you're going to get for completing the mars junction each junction has a certain requirement that you have to complete in order to go ahead and challenge this junction and what i mean challenge is that when you enter this junction it's also a separate mission you have to fight a warframe or a specter that's a warframe and once you defeat that specter you get to unlock the next planet as you can see here to go to mars you have to complete the quest once awake which is the very first quest you get when you literally open the game and everything downloads and then you collect 250 rubido in missions which you will collect playing the missions here on mars they're very common drops each planet like i said has a certain boss that drops a certain part a certain warframe and you can farm that boss over and over again hopefully rng is on your side and you're going to continue doing that all the way around this whole solar system okay you can do that all the way around to the whole solar system that is basically what you want to do just follow these lines do the junction requirements and you know fight the bosses so you can you know get new warframes and try out new characters you know what i'm saying we are going to go into the marketplace okay the marketplace is where you're going to be getting your blueprints this i had no idea blueprints were a thing when i first started the game i thought platinum you had to buy with real money just to get these new characters but that wasn't the case i was naive and i was tripping tripping heavy so you could unlock new characters remember how i said that in this in the system the solar system new planets there's bosses that drop certain parts the parts is just the the chat the helmet the chassis and the systems once you build those which take real life hours to, to build by the way you're gonna need the blueprint of that certain warframe and those blueprints most of those blueprints you obtain them through the marketplace so for example we're gonna go into go into the warframes and let's say i want to farm for let's say ash there's that blueprint right there it's you can either purchase the whole warframe built with the i think with the catalyst or reactor built into already that's for your mods and stuff or you can buy the blueprint for 35,000 credits and credits are basically the game's credit uh game's currency system like you get current you get credits by playing by killing ads picking them up on the floor like literally finishing missions you get credits by doing anything in this game and once you buy the blueprint you see right there when you click on the blueprint it's going to tell you that you need the, the helmet 
the chassis and the systems and those you get by def either defeating a boss but with ash specifically you have to fight these little ads i forgot the name of the ads but they're very annoying to fight and you have a chance of them dropping his parts but most of these warframes you get them you get their parts by fighting bosses it's the same thing for weapons as well you come in here you look at the blueprints that's required you buy the blueprint and then you you look you look for the parts you find for the parts you build you get the parts and then you build the weapon now when it comes to weapons there are weapons that require a certain master rank for you to be at in order to craft them or even use them it will it won't allow you to craft a weapon that's a higher master rank than what you're currently on for example i am master rank 23 i can i can practically build any weapon and use it however i see fit but when you're just starting out the game you're gonna be very you're gonna be low master rank and trust me in the beginning master rank come goes up really quick because you're just constantly giving new things to build new things to craft and you're constantly leveling up new items new warframes new everything it just comes up really nicely as long as you enjoy the game, Master Rank will, will, will go up with you. Now, how do you level up Master Rank? So, leveling up your Master Rank basically by just playing the game and leveling up Warframes and weapons and companions. Leveling up all those things gets your Master Rank up. You see that line right below my Master Rank number, that white line? That's your X, that's your Master Rank XP when you level up your the weapons, when you level up the things that I said, that XP increases you gain more master rank xp and when it maxes out you're gonna have to you're gonna be put to a test where you have to complete a master rank test and it could be from anything from a speed run from parkour from fighting only with your weapons and they will block out your powers there could be part where you can only use your melee weapon so in times where you won't have any weapons at all there's gonna be stealth it's, it's a, all sorts of things. The higher mushroom rank you are, the more difficult it gets. So like, you know, but by that time, you're going to be already familiar with the game experience. You're going to know what to do. Some of them are challenging, but you got this. I, I believe in you. Woo, woo. We're going to make our way over here to the Void Relics. Void Relics is how you get primed versions of the, a weapon or a Warframe. Each Warframe and weapons have a prime version. Even companions have prime versions. For example, right now I currently ha have equipped the Baruch Prime Warframe. So each relic has a chance of dropping that certain part. The top is the bronze, higher chance of dropping than the lower ones. Um, as you can see, for example here, my Axie A6, um, the gold, which is the rare ones to drop is the atlas prime helmet i can increase that chance by using these things called tracers and you get those tracers by doing void relics now mind you when you're starting out the game you're going to be very limited on what kind of void relic missions you can do because you need to unlock more planets the more planets you have unlocked the wider choices of re void relics that you have available to you and to get these void relics, you, they literally drop anywhere. They drop anywhere. They keep dropping the mission. You can get them by doing spy missions, defense missions, exterminations. You know, you, they drop anywhere. You can start farming relics as soon as you finish the tutorial and start the game. There is like a tier system. For example, what I mean by that is there's Lith relics, Meso relics, Neo relics and oxy relics oxy relics are more of the higher enemies the higher enemies they are the more oxy and neo relics drop the lith relics are more of the lower level enemies in the lower level tier um levels that's when the lith and meso and meso um relics drop on earth only lith relics drop unless you like somehow make it to the enemies where they're like level 40 level 50 that's when you might see you might start to see neo and maybe oxy relics but in the beginning of the game you're probably going to get a lot of lith and meso relics open those look at look what they got in there you know do your research and like see what kind of prime parts you want to get but i recommend you always get the regular version of the of that weapon or prime um warframe just to test it out so you don't waste your time farming a warframe that you're not gonna enjoy a prime version you're not gonna enjoy because the only difference with a prime warframe from the regular warframe is that abilities are the same it's just that armor 
or health is slightly increased. That's the only difference. Besides the style, they look fire. Prime Warframes look fire. So you always want to get if you love a Warframe, go for the Prime Warframe because it's gonna be it's gonna look nice. Alright, it's gonna look real nice. But I just wanted to bring this video guys and just you know what I'm saying, um show you guys lead you on the right path so you guys don't get confused there are things called blueprints you go ahead and get those blueprints in the marketplace that cost in-game credit and then you farm those parts and build the warframe your mushroom ring goes up and you just have fun man you know farm um farm these things and just unlock and it everything does take real lifetime hours and days to complete building so that is that it's like the downside it's like DE basically telling you to, okay, chill out. You've been farming for a long time. Now go touch some grass for three days if you're building a Warframe. Go touch some grass for 12 hours if you're, build, if you're building a weapon. You know, things like that. But you also have the chat, the trade chat. You also have the, you know, the community here. You can ask. Now that the game is cross-save and cross-play, you can go ahead and literally play with anybody anywhere, literally with Warframe Mobile, and ask a lot of questions because the community... The Warframe community is not toxic. A lot of people will help. I'm not gonna lie. The Warframe community is not toxic. It's very active. Let's so go ahead and ask questions. But I hope this video helped the beginner players on, you know, so you don't get confused. You know what I'm saying? Follow the main quest lines. Do not skip the main quest lines because the quest line is really good. It's really nice. I suggest you follow it. Don't skip any cinematics. It's Warframe cinematics are like French kiss. You know what I'm saying? They're very, they're very good. So. That was going to be all for the video, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Wait, wait.